Okay, so let's discuss, shall we, with Ahmed Benafa, San Jose State professor specializing really in AI. Thank you so much, sir, for joining me once again. Apple now turning the spotlight on artificial intelligence. What do you make of Apple intelligence? Well, I mean, they have no choice. They have to uh, be on the train here of the AI. Uh, everybody's asking about it, whether it is the, the consumers or the uh, stakeholders, you know, the stock market. Uh, they have about 2 billion active users of their devices all over the world. So they don't want to be looked like uh, somebody who's still living, you know, in, in, the, in the stone ages when there is no AI features there. So what they have done today is they show us that they're serious about it. They have this big news about the partnership with OpenAI. So they're pushing hard uh, in, in that direction. Yeah, I mean, how pivotal of a moment is this for Apple when you talk about kind of lagging behind rivals such as Microsoft and Google? This is their story, uh, Heather. You know, they're always like that. They wait and they come late to the party, but they dominate the market after that. They uh, learn from the mistakes of others. They, they offer a product that will be accepted and will be, uh, you know, praised by the users. What I have seen today in the, uh, in the keynote when, when they explained everything, especially that part of the AI, they brought multiple uh, applications or apps that used by the AI. For example, there is a special AI for the image, there's a special AI for, for the text and for the picture. They have them all in just one device where you don't have to play with multiple uh, apps. You just go and use that. Their Apple intelligence, which tells you that they're different now. You can, you can do a lot of things that usually you do it by going to three or four apps. Okay, so as you're saying, which Tim Cook says makes it much simpler. Okay, are you surprised, though, Professor, by this agreement with OpenAI? Because there were a lot of people out there who said this was going to be an unlikely partnership. Well, I mean, you know, I want to share with you some, some news that came from uh, Elon Musk. You know, a few minutes ago, he, he said that he's going to ban all the iPhones if this mm -hmm. partnership actually went ahead with it. That tells you that they are really hitting the biggest player in the AI market. Uh, so because who is who is the leader in this market? And, and Apple has the money, has the skills, and has the name, and also has the customers. Now, this is good also for OpenAI. But now they open the market of 2 billion users for OpenAI to to share their information and train their models on whatever they allow them to use it. Yeah. One thing uh, Elon Musk also questioned today, uh, Professor, was why Apple couldn't create its own artificial intelligence. Uh, that's true. You know, uh, there's a lot of things that uh, uh, they look at it uh, uh, from that perspective. They're, they have their own AI, mm -hmm. but they are working in that. If you look at it, uh, for example, Siri is now is going through a big upgrade and they have if Siri could not answer it and give you the answer or give you the, the you know, the, the outcome you're looking for, you can use ChatGPT. So they're working on their AI part. That they, they're taking their time, but they don't want to just wait until it's finished and then it's going to be too late for mm -hmm. them to, to satisfy the customers. Okay, we've had you on the show before and we've talked a lot about the concerns with artificial intelligence from security and privacy. I want you to take a look now uh, and listen to what CEO Tim Cook had to say about that. Of course, it has to be built with privacy from the ground up. Together, all of this goes beyond artificial intelligence. It's personal intelligence, and it's the next big step for Apple. He, he called it personal intelligence instead of artificial intelligence. Um, they are great marketers there at Apple. But given the concerns surrounding AI, Professor, do you believe that this will be enough to convince users that their data, et cetera, is in fact safe? Well, the, the devil is in the details about the agreement with uh, OpenAI because that's the only time the data will be going out of the control of the consumers. But they explain that if they use their, if the customers or the consumers use the, their own AI, the Apple uh, AI uh, or intelligence, uh, it, nobody will see that. It's going to be in the device itself. So, so now it's going to be really a test for them how they can control the use of this data by a third party, which is OpenAI in this mm -hmm. case. Okay, again, it is a, certainly a big day for our Cupertino-based Apple and artificial intelligence. Ahmad Banafa, always appreciate your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Heather.